And for those that don't know at home, I just want to remind people of your story. Six years in the CFL in Canada, you had to prove that you could play the quarterback position, and then you had a 16-year NFL career, became a Hall of Famer. It's a remarkable story. You're a trailblazer, and it's all respect. But I want to get to the latest news now here in the NFL. So here's what the NFL's top medical officer, Dr. Alan Still, says, that certain conditions must be met for the NFL season to be able to start this year, including a widespread testing and the removal of gathering restrictions. And then yesterday, we had Des Bryant, we saw Dak Prescott, and three others working out together. Where are you on the fact that some of these players are continuing to work out in groups during these circumstances? You know, it's definitely a risk for, for players to get together and do that, but it, it all depends on how they're handling the rest of their lives. If, if they're at home and if they're being isolated and making sure they're staying away from, from other people and the only time that, that those groups of people are together is when they're together, then maybe it's not as big a risk. But uh, you definitely are taking a risk because you never know who somebody else might have been associated with and they could have picked up the virus. So, yeah, it's a risk for these players to do that. I understand why they want to do it, because they're trying to work at their craft. But as long as they're staying uh, very, very careful in what they're doing and how they get together, um, that's something they're going to continue to do. And it's happening all over the league. It's not just that group of guys you saw. Warren Moon, Stephen A. here. Thank you so much for being on the show. What would you suggest ideally uh, players can and should do in order to keep themselves in peak condition in order to be ready for a potential NFL season? Because by all indications, uh, if you're listening to the NFL, we're going to have one. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's some players that have the opportunity to have gyms. Like when I was playing, I had a gym in my home. I had a uh, kind of an acreage, so I could I could use my whole property to, to run around if I needed to, and, and and have a trainer come and work me out. But every player doesn't have that type of uh, accessibility, so. Uh, I think the the best thing they can do is when they do get together with a trainer or whatever, try and limit the number of guys that are there. They they try and say that you shouldn't have any more than six people together at one time. If you can do something like that and still get your workouts in, still try and, and practice the social distancing, even when you're together as a group working out, I, I think you're, you're making it less risky to do it. Uh, Warren, Max Kellerman, great to have you on the show. Always great to talk to you. Um, we see today Singapore, which was held as a, a, a model for how for their response to the coronavirus early on, now has to reshut everything and go to social distancing again, indicating that until there's a vaccine or at least abundant testing where we can isolate people who have the infection instead of just everyone's social distancing, that this could come in waves. In other words, even if things resume in in over the summer or something like that, you could have another wave of social distancing in the fall or in the winter. Um, given that circumstance, do you think we see NFL play if they had to move it back in the calendar? It seems to me the one league that no one else wants to compete with that could kind of decide, yep, we'll just push back the schedule, let everyone else worry about it. But if there's a second or a third wave of social dis distancing, do you see the NFL season going on or do you think we just lose it? You know, Max, there's just so many uncertainties right now. We're dealing in uncharted waters, and this virus is something that uh, it doesn't have any favorites. It goes after any and every one all over this, uh, all over the world. Uh, so we're going to have to go off of what uh, what the medical experts say and how how much this uh, disease is is progressing. Uh, are we getting it under control? All those different things, and we won't know that until time goes by. We're, we're still kind of in the infancy stages of the uh, of the disease here in this country. You know, we've only been dealing with it now for maybe about a, a month or so. So I, I think it's going to take a little bit more time before we see as the testing gets going. How, how much we're getting it under control and, and how well we'll be able to plan for the future. But I think all these businesses, all these multi-billion dollar businesses, they have to plan as if things are going to go on. Now, if things change within that time, then you have to make changes and adjust. But there's no question they want to go ahead and, and, and plan like they're going to maybe play a season this year based off of what they know now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.